Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail. And today for National Scrapbook Day 2021, we are going to update and tweak and add our own spin to an old favorite. Back in 2010, in January, I introduced an envelope album. It was probably one of my very first envelope albums called the Long Envelope mini scrapbook album. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is taking that, bringing it forward 11 years and turning it into more of a junk journal type of book. So um, just to refresh your memory, I don't have the original original because I had done that for a swap, but I did find one of my old ones. I, and I know it's from 2010 because I have the date little number things hanging off the side. And this is one where I used some zippers and all that kind of stuff on it. Um, and it's got a chipboard cover, which we, you can still do for your project, but I'm going to also show you some other things that you can do. So inside... This one, I've used some policy envelopes that open at the end, but you can use standard envelopes um, as well. And I folded them. You can watch the video for this one. It's not embellished. I didn't put any of the papers on it yet. But um, basically, each envelope attaches to the envelopes on each side of it, which forms a pocket. And then you have a pocket at this end. This one just happens to have a flap. You can watch the original video and I'll link that in the information for this one if you want to see how the original one was put together. What we're going to be doing um, on today's live stream show later on today um, is we're going to be taking the same concept of the envelopes, but then in between. So here's one of the envelopes and here's the other envelope, the other end of the envelope. Here's that pocket. Here's the pocket on the end, just like on the original, but inside we then have also um, some random little pages. This is done in a more traditional fashion with patterned papers. This is an ancient paper that I've had around forever. Um, so on these little pieces, some of these are put together with the actual um, double-sided pattern paper. Some of them have some papers that then I've added the pattern paper onto them. And then there's pockets. I've got other pockets that I'm going to be filling in and adding embellishments to, but I, did, I mainly just with this wanted to get all of the matting, paper matting on there. And then I'm gonna go through and I could add um, some more details and such to it. Um, now this one, I just attached um, a piece on the back. I didn't put a front cover on it. Um, and then I'm just having it to where I can tie it closed. And this is some wire ribbon so I can kind of manipulate it around. With this, to attach those extra pieces, I've punched holes um, and used some um, disc baker's twine to um, tie these this batch of pages in. So here's the envelope, and then these are the pieces that are inside that I have did just then tied, and I've tied them in pairs, so I have lots of little stringies on the back. We can also do it to where um, with the one I'm going to show you, you can also stitch on the machine. Um, you can also do these different size. Now these are with number 10 envelopes, which is the same as the original. This is done with some little coin envelopes and I put this inside one of these nifty little tins. With this one, I'm using um, some tags as the cover with some canvas on the ends and I've allowed some expansion space in there. So this will open up and lay flat and then using these little coin envelopes, which I'm gonna embellish this with some washi tape. Um, the end of the envelope attaches to the next one and forms a little pocket. So, <coughs> excuse me, some little tags go in the coin envelopes, little tags go into the little pocket, and then I'll embellish it. So this one I've done with five, I, um, whether I'm gonna add some, I'm probably gonna add some little pieces of paper in here um, as well. And I'm gonna use, and I meant to do that before I started this video, and then I didn't. So I'm going to use, if I see it real fast here, um, don't have it right immediately in my drawer, but I'm gonna use some receipt tape. And I've, you can see some of my previous videos that, um, but I'll go ahead and hand stitch 
um, some uh, the receipt tape, which is perfect width to go in here to add some extra pages in between. But I mainly just wanted to show you how cute you can make just some little tiny one that fits down inside of a tin. Be fun um, little gift item. So the one that, that I'm making um, in class or working on in class today um, uses six by nine envelopes. Now I am going to be making this to go into another older project um, is I'm going to be doing some modifications to my original um, vintage um, suitcase and we're going to be making it a fairy style suitcase but the sample's not quite ready to go yet so we're working on the album but I'm using some six by nine envelopes um, to create it and I am scoring this from the bottom end, I'm scoring it three and a half inches up from the end. Now, I took the little metal thingy bobber doodle off. Um, you can leave it on if you choose to. Um, but I'm scoring it three and a half inches. You can make it narrower or longer if you want this part of your page to be longer. It's very arbitrary. I probably wouldn't go less than two inches um, or more than half. So, but I'm doing it three to three and a half inches. Um, where I score and then I can fold it there and this is going to be my main page and this will attach to the subsequent page and form a pocket by cutting this end off. So then we'll glue this part to the previous page. We'll still have the pocket and in this fold here is where we will attach um, additional items. So the original was, and I did this with different colors so that you can see. So here's the page. This flap attaches to the back of this one. This flap to, attaches to the back of this one. And this flap will attach to the back cover. Now, doing this in a junk journal fashion with all the extra pages that I will be putting in the middle, I'm not doing more than three of these sections or signatures. So to create those, what I've done is I've just taken a bunch of random, just like you do with any junk journal, and there's a billion, probably close to a billion junk journal videos available. So I'm not going to go over the whole thing behind that other than you can use whatever you have around. So here I've got a little coin envelope that I stitched to a tag. These I did on my sewing machine as I just stitched them down the fold line. Um, I've got some um, window envelopes here that are just from the mail that gives me a pocket on each side. Um, paper from a book. Um, this is some um, washi type paper that attached to some craft paper and I just stitched it on there. Um, this is a little pocket that I'm going to put some tags in. Some little grid paper. Here's the main part of the page and it has a pocket. So then we go from the center this is the other part of the tag, the envelope, the page, and here's another one done on this side. The, the little pocket to put some tag in, this, and then we've got this guy. So that's, there's the first one. Here's another one. Same elements, just in a different order. As you can see, this one I've done it, putting this piece differently on there. Here I've stitched an envelope on that can flip and still be used as a pocket. Kind of creates a tab. And again, I did these so they doubled up and stitched on. So there's my second page. And then my third page or signature. The uh, craft. This one I, I folded in and stitched it on. The little pocket. The envelope. This one had a big window on it, so both sides will have the window. This one again, I just stitched on a coin purse. Here's the other half of that envelope with the big window. And then this one's stitched on. So that gives me my three signatures. And that's going to, especially once we add some additional elements, whether you wanted to use pattern paper to make it more traditional like I did on the smaller one, or if you want to go full mixed media and use collage and paint and 
all sorts of good stuff. Either way, how you choose to decorate it is entirely up to you. Also, if you want to stitch it on machine and add some of those elements, which are super popular right now, or if you just want to do it with um, glue, either is going to work great. I'm allowing about two inches at my spine um, for when I put a cover on these and when I'm ready to attach them together and then put a cover on them. Let me show you the cover real quick and then I'm gonna assemble it super fast. So the cover I'm doing is, I had some cardboard from something I got from Ikea. So it's relatively thin cardboard and I found I was able to stitch on it. So I also have some canvas scraps. So I made my back the size that I want it to be that's gonna fit inside of my suitcase. So I made this one six and a half by eight and a half. That allows, when these are attached on there, allows for a tag in this pocket to extend out a little bit if I choose to, or whatever I might have that may end up extending out. So I've made this a six and a half by eight and a half because it's going to fit into the new um, uh, suitcase, which is larger. And then I've taken pieces to where they're about two and three quarter inch by whatever length. If you wanted it to go all the way, you could. I just kind of have it a little bit short because that's what size the canvas was. So I wanted to extend over three, it's still a quarter of an inch. And then I did about a half an inch <clears throat> on the front. Now I sewed it on the back side, on the inside, and I sewed it on the outside for the fronts. I just want this gap here to be about two inches to allow for the expansion um, of the junk journal signatures going inside. So then one side will wrap this way, this will wrap the other, and then I'll have either a ribbon going around it this way or this way. And that's something I will decide <coughs> at a little bit later time. So got this all ready, lay it open. I'm gonna grab my first signature. Now this one, this pocket is going to attach down and I'm having it come in about a quarter of an inch. It can be right at the edge of your um, back. It can be centered, however you choose. I'm having it be just inside of my um, my um, canvas. So before I glue it down, I want to mark from my fold line about half an inch over. We're not going to glue in this area because what that does is it leaves, as I've mentioned in other old videos, it gives some breathing room. If these were attached right at the fold, we'd have the classic fan. I, I mean, I've put out, what, 40 different bindings over the past 11 years, and we end up in 2021 back to some old school type bindings. It's funny how everything, you know, cycles around. But we want that breathing room. I also... I um, want to make sure I'm attaching this whole piece down because my pocket's right here. You could glue this in a U shape and have two pockets if you wanted to, but since this is holding up this entire signature, I want some, some attachment down. So I have in these to where the back side of the large section of the envelope is up and my pocket is down. You could attach them the other way around if you wanted to, but this is how I'm doing it. So I'm gonna take some glue and I'm going to go around the entire edge and along that inside, but along that um, that marking. And I, as I said, I did a half an inch. On the little coin purse, I did it a quarter of an inch, or coin purse, the little coin envelope, I did it at a quarter of an inch. But on this size and the number 10, I did it um, at a half an inch. I'm gonna attach that down so where it's centered. Lift all this up. Stick that down. Then I'm gonna take my second one and I'm gonna do the same thing. I have a line marked half an inch from the edge. The marking won't show, but it makes sure that you allow that half inch um, and don't put glue um, towards the fold side of that line. Get my 
my glue is drying really fast today. All right, so I'm going to line my fold up on the fold with the previous page. Got all these strings hanging out, but I don't want to get rid of them just yet. So line that all up, stick it down, open it up. Now, when we are adding either pattern paper or we're embellishing it, this edge that's glued down, I'm going to want to reinforce that, whether that I'm slipping a piece of paper um, inside. So if this was my paper to where it slips inside and attaches it down, or I can also, um, which I may do, is just run some washi tape along that edge on the one where I'm doing it much more of a mixed media style. All right, so that gives me my second one down. So now we're ready for our third one. Again, it's marked half an inch away from the fold. Put my glue on. Don't get too messy with your glue. You don't want it oozing out. Or too close to the edge like I just did there. So let's make it a little more even along that line. There we go. All right, and again, lining up our, whoops, lining up our, our uh, folds along the same, so it's on the same plane. Stick that down, flip it all back, making sure it's attached nicely to the back side. So that gives us a pocket, and then But that attaches the three signatures together. So now they're all three attached. You can see how that gives that room for it. And so then we have our book and as you can go through, it's literally three signatures that are now ready to embellish. This will wrap around, this will wrap around. And then once it's all full, as I said, I'm gonna have a, a string that'll attach to the back and wrap around or a string that'll wrap around from the top and bottom and tie it to be determined. Um, so there will be more further videos showing um, this being embellished. I just wanted to do this video um, now showing how it's all put together. And then later on this afternoon, there will be a live stream video showing um, getting started on embellishing. Obviously, I'm not going to get it done in a two hour time frame, but there will be multiple videos and I'll do a final walkthrough when it's all done. So anyway, that is the new, improved, and updated version of the long envelope. Now we're just going to call it the long envelope book <laughs> but um, or junk, junk book. Um, so long envelope junk book versus the long envelope mini scrapbook album from 11 years ago. So anyway, look forward to seeing you this afternoon when we continue on this. Um, but thanks a bunch for watching.